Okay, here's a quick tip on how to import contacts into Outlook from an Excel spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet that Michelle sent us. The first thing is to make sure every column has a column header. Now, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. You don't really have to do this. I just like to know that it, there's a match, closer match between my column headings and the Outlook fields. So that's really all I'm doing right now. You'll see later while I do this. Okay, after you do that, the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you identify a range. So you're going to do that by selecting the first cell. Hold down your shift key until you've selected the very last cell. Now give all that data a range. And I think I'll call this SSR contacts. Hit enter. And now I've identified a range. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and save it. Save it as an O3 spreadsheet. You cannot yet import Excel 07 into Outlook, so save it as an O3 version. And I'm going to call this file SSR underscore 2009. And I'm going to save it on my desktop so I can find it. There we go. The next thing you absolutely have to do is close the file because Outlook cannot import contacts from an open spreadsheet. So close it. If you don't close it, you'll get an mess uh, error message. Now click on Contacts. You're going to create a folder. Let's right click. New folder. Let's call it SSR underscore test. And say OK. And that creates a folder, a subfolder under your contacts. There it is right there. As you see, it's empty. So let's go ahead and import contacts. Hit File. Import and Export. That opens up the wizard. The default will be selected as import from another program or file. That's what we want. So hit next. Select Excel 9703. Hit next. Now let's find the place where we have our file, which we saved it on the desktop. SSR 2009. Say OK. And I'm not going to allow duplicates, but that's not a bad idea. I'll explain that. Next. SSR test is the subfolder where we want everything to go. So let's go ahead and hit next. Now let's map custom fields. That's going to be important so we know exactly what we have and what we need. We're going to clear this map. We have on our spreadsheet a first name. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see what Outlook has under name. And let's map our fields accordingly. First name, just going to click and drag. We'll move it to first name. Last name, click and drag that to last name. We're just matching these fields up with the Outlook fields. And let's see here, and you'll see why I wanted the addresses to go. The office location the agent is in, we're going to just move that to the business address. And then let's go down here and find some email. And from, ah, there we go. Email. Let's map that to this email address. And then a personal email. Let's map that to email 2. And so now all of our fields are matched. Okay. So let's say OK. And import. Now that is the range we identified earlier, SSR contacts. If you don't have the range, it wouldn't work. And then hit finish. And watch magic happen. You have the first name, the email addresses, and the office location. So you are good to go.